Hello everyone, how are you doing today? It's a very auspicious day today in India. Today we celebrate Saraswati Puja. Puja as in worship and Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, music, art, speech, wisdom and learning. So today we are going to learn words related to books. Yes, you heard me right, words. We are going to learn bonus words today. How many of you love books? Okay. And how many of you love to collect books, buy books? Whether you get time to read them or not, you just love collecting them. Then you can definitely call yourself a bibliophile. Yes, that's the 48th word of a word a day challenge 2021, bibliophile. To talk about its origin, once again, I have my friend Georgia. Let's hear her out. Hello, Nila. Yes, you are right. Bibliophile is any other new Greek word for you all. Bibliophile, bibliophilos. Bibliophile is uh, composed of two Greek words. Biblio, which means biblio, book, and file, which means philos, friend. So bibliophile is someone who loves books. Bibliophile, bibliophilos. I have a great collection of books at home. I'm a great bibliophile. The, the ending file, or the word file, if you want to say it like this, can be found in many other words as well, compound words. For example, technophile. Can you imagine what this means? Of course, a friend of technology. Or cinephile. Yes, my friend, someone who loves cinema. Thank you. Thank you so much, my lovely Goji, for the information. And I didn't know you're such a bibliophile yourself. Wow, that's great. So any word that has phil, file, or philos as its root word, it means that it's talking about love of that thing. Speaking of which, how many of you love the smell of books or love to smell books? This is one question that always pops up when we talk about ebooks versus books. So the word is bibliosmia. Yes, that's your bonus word, bibliosmia. It's again made up of two Greek words, biblio as in book and smear as in smell, bibliosmia. It's such a blessed day that I feel like sharing more words with you. So I would like to share the word that's related to the smell of old books particularly old books. It's called Biblica. Biblica, yes. It's again made up of two words, two Greek words, Biblio as in book and Ica. If you watched my video on Petrica, you would know the meaning of Ica. It's the ethereal fluid that flows in the veins of Greek gods. So, Biblica the particular smell of old books. Now, I feel like sharing one more word with you. <laughs> so, how do you feel when you enter a second-hand bookstore or an old bookshop? How do you feel? The smell around, how does it make you feel? Nostalgic. You go down the memory lane, right? This feeling the wistfulness of a second-hand bookshop is called Velika. Velika. It was invented by John Quinnig and uh, his Twitter subscribers picked this word in August 2013. There are assumptions that Petrica could be the inspiration behind the word Velika. Velika 
is made up of two Greek words, vellum, a fine parchment, and ica. I know you know it now. The ethereal fluid that flows in the veins of Greek gods. So that's velika. Velika inspires yearning in you, pining for past, longing. You feel melancholic. You get to feel the feelings, thoughts and emotions of the authors, the writers. Each book has its own error. So probably you experience that error. A bibliophile would definitely understand what that feeling is. Keep learning. Stay blessed. Stay safe.